God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. He that believeth on Him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. This is the condemnation that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For every one that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. For he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. He will swallow up death in victory, and the Lord God shall wipe away tears from off all faces, and the rebuke of his people shall take away from all the earth, for the Lord has spoken it. So when the, this corruptible shall put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. Oh, death, where is The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, He's given us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible proclaims that Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You're going to have one victory lap here, but the greatest victory lap ever to be seen, ever to be witnessed, is that victory lap when the Lord Jesus Christ comes for those that are of His bride, those that have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ that are saved. What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Death is coming, for the wages of sin is death. You're not even sure if you're going to see the end of this race. You're not even guaranteed if you're going to even see the start of this race. Death has happened upon this track many times. People have stepped off into eternal life. The Bible states that there is a life after death. It's heaven or it's hell. Heaven by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ alone. Just because you're a good person doesn't get you into heaven because the Bible says there is none good. No, not one. For all have sinned. For all have come to show the glory of God. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. He said, I don't want to think about this on a race day. I don't want to think about God. I don't believe in God. And upon your death, you're going to wish you listened to the words. Upon your death, you're going to wish that you can come back and do this moment again. To have a second chance, and there is no second chances. There are many people who have set out this day who will never finish it. And it might be you. Death is possible today. Today is the way today is the day of salvation. The Bible proclaims, Behold the meat thy God. You think you're gonna have a day that's just race and all that? You may have a day where you meet your maker. This may be a day that you will meet God and you better meet God on the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life.
confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth in him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call upon him whom they have not believed? How shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? How shall they hear without a preacher? How shall they preach except they be sent? As is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace, and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our report. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. This life ain't over at the grave site. This life only passes on to heaven or to hell. And what must you do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. You might have one of your race car drivers here crack up on the track, end off in eternity, just like you'll end off in eternity one time, and you better prepare by having the right tickets, which is the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, because God don't take good work. God doesn't take religion. He doesn't take church membership. He doesn't take because you're a Baptist. He takes the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Behold, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. That's the ticket into glory. That is the final lap. When you spend eternity with a God that made you, and eternity that God will wipe away your tears, and God that will give you a new body that was shaped, that was formed upon Calvary about 2,000 years ago. The gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, how God, Jesus Christ, Acts 20, 28, shed his blood, died upon that cross. And they put him in the tomb, according to the scriptures. And he arose again the third day, according to the scriptures. Some of your race car drivers are in the grave, or are still in the grave. They're not going to come out of the grave till God calls them up, because they ain't God. Jesus Christ is God, who is resurrected from the dead, that you may have life. Thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. Whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And be sure it's your, your sin will find you out. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Right next to salvation, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, you can find NASCAR in the Bible. You can find auto races. Nathan, chapter 2, verse 4. The chariots shall rage in the streets. They shall just so one against another. In the broadways, they shall seem like torches. They shall run like lightnings. And Jesus spoke to us about the broadways. The broadway is just full of people. The broad way will lead you into a life eternal into hell, yet the straight gate, the Lord Jesus Christ, will lead you into life eternal. By the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, the gospel that Christ died for your sins, was buried according to scriptures, and arose again the third day. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. It's not something you want to think about on a Sunday afternoon, but this is a day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. This is a Sunday morning. This time ought to be given to God, so we bring God to you, because you ain't going to come to God. I'll bring the Bible to you, so you can hear the gospel, because you won't step inside of a church. So we'll bring it right out to you. And the Bible proclaims that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever believes him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Salvation ain't wrought in a president. Salvation ain't wrought in a pool position. Salvation is wrought by Jesus Christ. 
in Jesus Christ alone, who said in John 14, verse 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Whosoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. The victory that lies in the Bible ain't some guy who takes 2,000 left hand turns. The victory that's in Christ is the shed blood of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ that you may be saved. A victory that doesn't last the afternoon, a victory that doesn't last the next race, a victory that will last for all eternity. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish. You're going to die. Your death may be this afternoon. Your death may be for noon. No one knows the time. No one knows the day. But yet you need to solve your death problem right now because you have a terminal disease called sin. For the wages of sin is death. You're going to die. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe next month. But you need, while you're breathing, while you're living, you need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Set your destination from out of hell into heaven. And that's not done by works. That's not done by religion. That is done by the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. He that has the Son has life. He that has not the Son... We got another sign. All right, two signs now. Let the video run out. Keep going. Good, how you doing? Yeah, 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 we didn't, we didn't, uh, we, we left the house about uh, 8 o'clock, we got to rest on the way up, and now we, uh, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. You may have tickets to go in to see races, but do you have the tickets to enter into heaven? The ticket that will get you into glory is the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, and that alone, for Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If you were to ask Earnhardt today what he expects for you to do, where he rests, he'll tell you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Salvation is wrought in Jesus. Realize that we bring the message here because the Bible says, Go ye all the world and preach the gospel. And what more of a worldly place than a NASCAR race to bring you the gospel, the blessed hope, the great news of God the Savior through the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. And you got sin. The fact is that you're going to die one day proves you got sin. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. Rest is sure. More sure than Texas. More sure than Obama's president. If you're going to die, 
you're going to die of a terminal disease called sin. Unless you take care of it and put it under the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, thou shalt be placed into hell for all eternity. For Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes down to the Father except by me. Religion can't do it. Church attendance can't do it. Water can't do it. But the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ was out spot. The precious blood of that Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The Bible states in the Old Testament, the prophets, Behold, the meat, prepare the meat by God. When you read the Bible, you realize that Satan's a loser. Satan ends up into a devil's hell for all eternity. But those that are blood washed, those that are in Christ, will live an everlasting, glorious future in New Jerusalem with the God that died for him upon the cross. But Jesus died, he was buried according to the scriptures, and arose again according to the scriptures. That is the victory. That is what God has sent forward to. For whosoever is born of God overcometh the world. This is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. You're going to have a victory lap around this thing, but a permanent, eternal victory is lied upon the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. The finished work upon Calvary, the empty tomb, proves the victory, proves that God. He will swallow up death in victory, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces. And the rebuke of his people shall take away from all fear, for the Lord has spoken it. If you do not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, and you die without Christ, you will face God at the great white throne judgment as he proclaims to you, Go to hell. And you don't ever want to hear God tell a person, you don't want to hear God tell you, go to hell. Because that's permanent, that's everlasting. Without the Lord Jesus Christ, what must you do be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Fools make a mock at sin. The fool has said in his heart, there's no God. which take away the sin of the world. You may have tickets to get into the race, but do you have the ticket to get into glory? That ticket is the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. In Isaiah 1.18, Come now. This is God speaking. Come now. Let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. You can never enter into heaven with your sins. You need your sins to be washed in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. 1 John chapter 1. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. He has swallowed 
up death and victory. And the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces, and the rebuke of His people shall take away from all the earth. You can mock God, you can cry, you can laugh at God, but stand sure those that rest in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ will stand firm upon the rock of New Jerusalem as those that rejected Jesus Christ, those that trusted not to believe in Jesus Christ, will be cast into eternal hell for all eternity. Because you have rejected Jesus Christ. There will be no beer and alcohol because beer burns up and there's a flame. In flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God, that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from His glory. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. There is a fool that mocks sin, but rest assured that God is alive, God is love, God has His way. For Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You need to take it into glory that is rest upon the gospel that Jesus Christ died for your sins. He was buried according to the scriptures and arose again according to the scriptures. Listen, your dead race car fans are still in the grave. The popes are still in the grave. Religionists are still in the grave. But Jesus Christ seated at the right hand of the Father alive and well. Get my soda. Put it on the chair. Throw it down.
The tickets into glory by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ are absolutely free. What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Here you give your money, yet but God says, Come unto my Son freely. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, for I have believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. If you're prepared with your ticket to enter into the race, are you prepared for death? Death may happen at any minute, any moment, any time. You are unsure of your death. At what point you may go into these races, one of your favorite drivers may offer into eternity. I'll tell you what Earnhardt would tell you right now. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. For Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. As sure as this place will take your ticket, God will take the ticket of His Son, the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ, for the only payment. Anything else you're relying on, well, you're good, for there is none good. No, not one. There is none that doeth good. Well, you're a Baptist. Well, you're washed in water. Well, you think you can do good deeds, not of works, least any man should boast. Salvation rests upon the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. We're all Christians on a Sunday morning. Christians belong inside of a church. That's why we're here preaching to you. These drivers proclaim to be Christians, and yet they race on church day. They race on God's day. They keep going left. They keep going left, and they never go right. The only right way is the Lamb of God, which takes away the sin in the world. That is the way. That is the truth. And that is their life. That is the only way to the Father. John 14, verse 6. Keep on walking in, keep on walking, but realize one day you'll walk no further as you step out off in eternity. You better be washed in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. And